I talk all the time about the most important things in investing, and I name off dozens of things, each of which I consider the most important thing. But I truly believe that risk is the most important thing. Understanding, recognizing, and controlling risk is something that I've really devoted my life to. Before you read Risk Revisited again, I'd like to give you an example that illustrates my thinking on the subject of risk. In 1967, I arrived at the University of Chicago for graduate school, just three or four years after a new theory of investing had been developed. Central to it was the relationship between risk and return, and a lot of it was built around one graphic. Let me show you what I have in mind. The new theory of investment had center the relationship between risk and return. And it was encapsulated in a graphic that showed a line that was upward sloping to the right, indicating a positive correlation. As risk increases, return increases. Many people have misinterpreted this relationship to suggest that riskier assets offer higher returns, and if you want to make more money, the way to do it is to take more risk. I think both of these formulations are highly misleading. Uh, in short, if riskier assets could be counted on to produce higher returns, uh, then they wouldn't be riskier, would they? No, I think that's the wrong way to think about it. And so I have incorporated another graphic approach to the same relationship. I've taken the same upward sloping line and superimposed a number of bell-shaped probability distributions at different stages of the risk curve. What they indicate is that the outcome at a given level of risk is not a fixed point as suggested by that simple line, but rather a range of possibilities. As we move out the risk curve to the right, not only does the expected return increase, but at the same time, the range of possible outcomes becomes greater and the bad outcomes become worse. I think this is the nature of risk. I hope you'll enjoy reading Risk Revisited again, and I'll see you for the next memo.